Somebody entered the bar recently. Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new. Oh, well. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. The what? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient Bogey? answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. <sighs> People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Ah, oh, sir. Fuck. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. What? I'll leave you to your bottle then. What? That wasn't even a valid response to what I said. Did he think I said that he's still drunk or something? Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What is this place? This is Tom's bar. The turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina. If you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Oh, yeah, well, makes sense. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic. And now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. The ancients? But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. I see. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just of other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah. Of course. I mean... I best check on them. <sighs> really? You just don't want to talk to me, you bitch. I'll leave then. Thank you. Can I eat you? There's gotta be something can be done again. It's out. locked. Bullshit mess. No, poor Jack. He didn't deserve this. Uh Okay. I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. What? But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <clears throat> Who are you? I, I mean you no harm. Say it, the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. 
Okay, then. Uh, well, that's something I can do for you. What? And who might you be? sure that I know anymore. Might I at least learn the reason of your presence? That's none of your concern. Sir, you what? have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. How is it Something, not his concern? Someone is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We're both chasing the same shadow. I don't know. A shadow, indeed. Seems to make sense. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. I'm also a vampire. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I... I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Why has nobody commented on the fact that this man is literally covered in blood? No one seems to care. It's locked, all right. Ah, yes, interrogate the loco locals. Because... Oh, my god. It's definitely not going to be very uncomfortable for a fucking... Bo borderline meth addict... ...to be walking around talking to people. Also, do you see the similarities between that painting and this man? It's locked. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. What? He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock something. You are very easy to convince. Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. 
I've got hope it's not contagious. What happened tonight? He, he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. A hint.